Hey filmmaker Shungni here. In this video I'm going to show you how I did this shot. This is shot on a Mavic Pro and in at LA and this dolly zoom or vertical effect is a pretty interesting effect. As you can see the Hollywood Hill is coming up closer uh, from far away and it's a cool effect and the original shot is here behind it and if you can see it's actually a quite long shot and flying pretty far away from the Griffith Observatory there. So the main thing is that you need to have a footage that is 4K or a bigger footage than your timeline. So my timeline is a 1080p timeline and the footage is of course 4K on the Mavic Pro and yeah it's advisable to use a 4K footage if you're using a 1080p timeline because you need to scale up but with 4K you won't lose any resolutions or uh, lose details in the shot however if you're using a 1080p on a 1080p you're going to lose quite a lot uh, however yeah, if you're still using a 720p, you probably could get away with it using a 1080p footage. However, this is pretty much the main reason why you should be shooting 4K. Because this dolly zoom or just moving backwards or moving forward, you can easily also do it with a gimbal or a stabilizer. So you don't really need to use a drone to get this kind of a shot. However, to make it more powerful looking, it's nicer to have something in the foreground that gives a as a difference point uh, compared to what is on the background. So you can see more of that vertigo. Or you need to choose like a location where you see tons of perspective changes. So yeah, with a lot of perspective lines, however, you shouldn't get like a really flat uh, look or a flat shot and try to do this uh, because it's probably won't work as great so here it works really well because the mountain you can see like the perspective change with the mountain in the background so now tackling how to change this footage into that so I've already actually made this footage 50% to fill up uh, or to scale down it to 1080p so what we want it to happen, we are flying away, but we want to actually zoom in while we're going further away. So first of all, here we already set it to 50% and now we're going to add a keyframe here. And at the end, we're going to add a keyframe to make it scale up to be 100%. And pretty much we're just scaling up and we can already see this effect. And we're going to make this clip faster. So we can hit Command R and make this about 600% to make it a much faster effect and make it also more visible. So. With, especially with drones, it's advisable to do a longer shot and make it, yeah, just uh, speed up the shot, well, which will make it much more visible, that whole uh, vertical effect. Especially if you're just using real time, it's really slow and not that extreme visible. It's better to speed up your footage to make it more pronounced. So basically what we have done is make a digital zoom inside of Premiere Pro. So that is basically like making this dolly zoom effect. So basically the dolly movement is you can make by using a drone, gimbal, slider, whatever. And the zoom instead of actually zooming while filming, we're just doing a digital zoom inside of Premiere Pro. So if you're actually flying away, we're zooming in at the end. And if we're uh, actually flying towards the subject is then the other way around. So you have like uh, already zoomed in and then zoom out at the end.
So that was mainly it, how to make the vertical effect inside of Premiere Pro. So I hope you guys liked this video and please give me a thumbs up. If you want to see more upcoming videos, please subscribe. Also check out my other videos on this channel. If you have any questions, please comment below or join us on our Facebook group. And I hope to see you the next time. Bye bye.